Hi everyone, today we are going to perform the adult BLS which is one of the skills in the NMC OSCE examinations which is conducted in the United Kingdom. Okay, we are going to start the BLS. So I enter the room check for the scene safety and the scene is safe to approach. Gel hands with WHO standard techniques and Hello, are you okay? Are you okay? Towards both here, gentle tap, no response. You have to push the buzzer, help, help. And then we we are just checking for the airway obstruction. There is no obstructions. Then we have to do the head tilt and the chin lift and check for the signs of life for less than 10 seconds by look, listen and feel. Okay. If you, the jaw thrust is not done, if there is a uh, risk of any cervical spine injury. Okay. There is no signs of life. So, I will start with the chest compressions which is 100 is to 120 compressions per minute with the depth of 5 to 6 centimeter. Okay, you have to just continue with the chest compression till the help arrives. Okay, so help arrived. So you need to go dial, tell them to dial double to double to adult cardiac arrest, the place and the location. And we have to tell them to bring back the bag, valve, mask and the recess trolley. Okay, then, if, then have to tell them connect the bag, valve, mask with 15 liters of oxygen and tell me when you are ready. Okay, they said ready. So we just need to give, the other person will be giving two breaths and we need to maintain and see a visible rise of chest wall and we have to avoid rapid or for, forceful breaths. And the compression, the first person who is doing, start with the compression and the ratio will be 30 compression and 2 breaths. And this has to continue for 2 cycles. Okay, after you perform the BLS, you have to give an S bar to the resuscitation team. Okay, so what is S bar? S bar means, S means situation and here the situation is you have seen a patient or a person who was not well or not responsive and the background, you may know sometimes about the background like the name and the diagnosis if it, the person is in the hospital or sometimes if you don't know, so you can say if you don't know anything about the person and need, you can just say uh, just seen on when my way uh, to the hospital or something like that and what you've done the assessment or oh, you can see this was no signs of life you've uh, seen the signs of life for less than 10 seconds and the person was breathing but there was no response so what is the recommendations and what you've done so you have to say like this I have given an uninterrupted chest compressions which is 100 to 120 per minute with a depth of 5 to 6 cm allowing the full recoil of the chest and total I have given 2 cycles till the when the help arrived and I have started the you have to just mention about what time you have started the compression as well and the recommendations Maybe you can transfer to the critical care for the ongoing care. Okay. And the evaluation is like you assisted the resuscitation team and documented all the interventions and it's been handed over at the SPA to the resuscitation team. Or you can also hand over to the critical care team what all happened. So this concludes the S bar after the BLS. Okay, so now we just 
going to see what are the reversible causes of cardiac arrest. So we normally say it is 5H and 5Ts. What are 5H? That's hypovolemia, hypoxia, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, hydrogen ion excess and hypothermia. And what are the 5Ts? First one is the tension pneumothorax, second is cardiac tamponade, third is thrombosis and which is due to MI and the another thrombosis which is due to pulmonary embolism and the last one is the toxins. So these are the reversible causes of a cardiac arrest. So it can, these are, it can be asked questions about all these. So you have to be well prepared or we, and we have to know what all are these after if you perform the BLS okay okay so one point to be noted is that we perform the BLS like this been for many years and has been practiced like this but unfortunately due to the present scenario that's a COVID-19 there is some changes with the respiratory part that the back wall mask respiratory parts so everybody has to check the university side for the particular changes right so if you need if you're struggling with preparing for the OSCE which is the most stressful examination for all the overseas nurses we are there to support with, with the OSCE International is a dedicated team of people who've been helping people for many years and we are there um, to support people to have a hundred percent success and also uh, we have a small group which is uh, the candidates which are dedicated in the and they are preparing for OSCE so you can join that group as well and if you need personal support you can contact us we will be giving our contact details in below link so don't hesitate to contact us thank you